Welcome back to Kernication. We're here for Cedar Point opening weekend 2023 and we're staying at, you guessed it, Hotel Breakers. So today we're gonna be checking out what it's like to be a resort guest here at Cedar Point. So if you haven't stayed on here, uh, stayed here before, uh, one of the big pluses for Hotel Breakers is it's right on the beach. So it's actually right next to Cedar Point. Um, it's really close. It's a close walk. It's probably the best parking you can get here at Cedar Point. And you get some perks as a re resort guest, including early park entry. So we're going to be checking that out. You usually get to enter through the Magnum XL gate, so it's really close to the resort. Uh, and you can walk to and from your room. That's always a big perk, perk too. Uh, we're also going to be doing a full room tour. So we got one of the suites, a king suite with the uh, pull-out couch. So it's great for the kids. Uh, since they actually get a separate room. Uh, we're also going to be checking out all the dining options. So Hotel Breakers has a ton of sit-down dining, which we really like. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. So as soon as you actually arrive, there's a carpool pull through. You could head in. We're going to head in right through these doors. As soon as you walk in, get kind of this very nice chandelier and stained glass. Let's keep going here. And to your immediate left is the gift shop. We'll check that out here in a second. They got a lot of nice theme park art as soon as you walk in. Bathrooms to your right. So it's not open right now, like hour-wise, but we ate here last night at Tomo for dinner. This is their on-site hibachi.
So heading outside, we actually have right in front of the indoor pool these nice kind of lounges, lounging chairs. They rock, looks like. They got a little sunshade. These are right next to TGI Fridays. And they actually, TGI Fridays does have a outdoor seating area too. TGI Fridays is right behind the sandbar. And here are the cabanas too that are gonna be available for rental during the season. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, our Cedar Point Nights video, we checked this, uh, check these out courtesy of Cedar Point during Cedar Point Nights. But uh, since they're no longer doing that event this year, they're going to just have them available for rent during the regular season. And here it is right here. So one of the big reasons to stay here at Breakers, you are literally right on the beach. So we're heading towards the water park, towards one of the pools uh, right over here. There's two outdoor pools and a kid's splash zone too, in addition to the indoor pool here. And here's one of the outdoor jacuzzis and the pool. So the pool is open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. normally. Uh, it's probably a little closed right, uh, a little cold right now to swim with it being May 6th. But here it is. Got to get up early for the sunrise here. We do have this large chair, photo opportunity. Take a picture in right next to the sandbar. So this is normally open to get a drink. Grab a quick cocktail. So they do have two bathrooms back here. Water fountain and some seating. So it's nice to just sit here, grab a drink. Relax. This is a great place to just drink your coffee in the morning, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and they'll also, often during the year have uh, entertainment in that pavilion right there, so you get some live music. And some patio lights. It's really nice at night, too. So here is the Kids Splash Zone. It's normally open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., but obviously it's still a little early to open the pool, but you can see they are testing a lot of the stuff. Got a couple slides and a nice splash area. I'll walk down the path here. A few slides. Lots of loungers. Here is pool number two in the hot tub. The lifeguards are just getting in this morning to check on the pool. This is a very big pool area. Lots of seating, lots of loungers. Separate note, it's nice that they have like these things to rinse your feet off from the beach. Kind of around each one of the beach entrances. And here's the back of the rotunda. They have this really nice back patio. They usually have the fire going. It's like a propane fire, a couple of them. And there's Cedar Point Windseeker Gate. And you can see the uh, Grand Pavilion back there. So if you haven't checked out our media preview vid, check it out, I'll throw a link. Here's the rotunda. Lots of places to sit. And we'll head inside. Here's the indoor bar, the Surf Lounge. Opens at 11 a.m. and it's open till midnight. So not a ton of bar seating, but they have a few chairs. 
some of the beers they currently have on tap as of filming. And they do make some good specialty drinks with the paper straws. So it's pretty early on opening day. Lots of people getting Starbucks. is the rotunda. So we're staying on the second floor. Our room comes right off this hallway. Here is the poolside parlor, Toff's ice cream. Actually have a little entrance right here, right off the boardwalk. Uh, here it is. It's obviously not open right now. It's open from uh, noon to 9 p.m. Looks like they do take credit card for the washer and the dryer. Your ice machines, snacks. And one last thing is the biggest perk of staying on site is you get early park entry one hour before the park opens. So make sure to enter from the Magnum lot. It's a quick walk from the hotel. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. We'll see you next time.